Hello everyone, this is Avatar Discussions, and in this episode, we're going over an interesting fan theory. Apparently, a Reddit user, MB88000, suggested some solid reasoning for it to be true. Do you guys remember Ty Lee? Well, there's this theory that suggests that she might be a descendant of airbenders. Okay, hear us out. We know this sounds ridiculous right now, especially with the show's title being The Last Airbender, but we have evidence. So, let's get started. When we were first introduced to Tai Lee, we saw her as a lively acrobatic warrior who enjoyed studying people's auras. Despite being born into an aristocratic Fire Nation household, she's nothing like the typical Fire Nation citizen. And here are some things that make us want to believe the theory. First off, the resemblance between Aang and Tai Lee is uncanny. Lee's facial characteristics match the airbenders much more than the firebenders. Let's start with the hair. As we all know, most Fire Nation members have predominantly black hair, while Tai Lee had light brown hair. And guess who else had the same color? You got it, Aang. Their hair looked even more strikingly similar when he grew it out in Season 3. And that's not it. Both of them even had similar gray-colored eyes, which again, no one in the Fire Nation did. Not to mention, if we put their faces side by side, Lee's face is somewhat rounder, unlike the sharper facial characteristics of Fire Nation characters. Now, we know Tai Lee was one in seven, as she revealed in the show that she actually had six identical sisters. A whisper is going around that it was actually one of her identical sisters to play Aang in the Ember Island Players. Considering the similarities, it could have been very possible. Is it starting to make sense yet? We'll give you the benefit of the doubt if you're still not convinced and say that all these physical similarities may just be a coincidence. Although Tai Lee also had more noteworthy qualities that made her similar to the airbenders. We all remember the teachings of Monk Gyatso and other masters who instructed their apprentices on how to fight without causing physical harm. The way Aang fights and focuses more on defense is almost identical to how Tai Lee fights. Let's take a look at how she does that using her combat skills. Let's start with the fact that despite being born into a noble Fire Nation family, Lee never developed the capability of firebending. Instead, she was known for chi blocking, a martial arts strategy that temporarily paralyzes rivals by disrupting their flow of chi. Here's another fun fact. Her technique resembled the monk's philosophy. You might be wondering, how's that so? Well, not only did she strategically evade her enemy's attacks, but she also fought non-lethally. In addition to all this, she's able to jump high into the air as if she was weightless, which we believe might have been influenced by her roots as an airbender. Now you can see how her combat skills were eerily similar to the defensive training and use of non-violent methods that Aang received from the Air Nomads. And not just that, Tai Lee's optimistic and bright personality was also similar to the airbender's ideology, who also understood the value of humor in their culture. Now that you may agree with all the similarities that we pointed out, what's left is to theorize how all that even makes Tai Lee an airbender, if not a descendant. There are a few possibilities. One suggests that some airbenders had the kids who lived in the air temples flee on their flying bison during the Fire Nation invasion, allowing airbender descendants other than Aang and Tai Lee to be one. If not, some descendants likely outlasted the Fire Nation invasion, and as they were a nomadic nation, the airbenders could have started families within the other three nations. Even if she's not an airbender herself, Tai Lee may be a non-bending descendant of an air nomad, which is a greater possibility if she had only one airbender parent. So, you might be on board with us on this theory by now, as Tai Lee has both a hereditary and spiritual tendency to be an airbender descendant. And if you're not on board with this theory, let us know in the comments why you disagree. Well, this is all for today, fam. Do you think this theory might actually be true? Do let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. We'll be back with more amazing videos soon. We'll see you in the next one. And as always, stay flamin'.